let's have a look at the standard deviation. Now here's our spreadsheet and we have the averages for our four columns but now we want to know what the standard deviation is. Before we look at the function itself let's talk about what this term means. No pun intended. Now the midpoint is where our average or ithratic mean would appear in this bell curve. Moving one standard deviation to the left and the right from the arithmetic mean will give us everyone who is average or all of the C's and that should be 68.2 percent. Moving another standard deviation to the right gives us all of the B's which is 13.6 percent. The opposite group to the left would be your D's. The third standard deviation to the right or 2.1 percent of the population would be the A's. And the third deviation to the left are the F's. Now we'll put our function at cell B12. This is our standard deviation function. It begins with the equal sign and the function name STDEV. We then specify the range of values within parentheses. Our range begins at cell B2 and ends at cell B11. And don't forget to close your parentheses. Okay, let's do a standard deviation. At cell B13, I'm going to type in equals STDEV for standard deviation. I'll write parentheses. Then I'll click and drag to define my range and type the right parentheses. Hit return and there's our standard deviation. Now let's format that text so it's the same size and we can see we've got a 1.93218 something. Let's give it a label over on the left. So it's a standard deviation and while we're at it Let's click and drag over both of these labels and then go up here to our color, click on the white, and select black. Now they stand out. Next time, we'll look at the min and max function.